Happy Life Chapter 117. In the midst of your responsibilities, set aside some time for beauty. Get up early to witness the dawn, inebriating yourself with the strength of the light. Walk in silence through the woods and breathe the fresh air. Walk along a deserted beach and reflect on the majesty of the sea. Gaze at the stars and ask silence questions. Observe a rose in full bloom. Linger next to an innocent child. Talk with the senior citizen. Open up to the beauty in everything and adorn yourself with it. Joanna here is inviting us to observe the beauty around us and to take that in. For each chapter of Happy Life, I have posted um, on Instagram pictures. Those pictures, all of them, I have taken as I walk through my neighborhood and I'm always looking for the beauty. I'm always looking to see the beauty in something different or in a different angle. And um, as I capture it on pictures, I also appreciate it. And I also am impacted by the beauty. I nurture my soul by admiring, by taking that moment to like look at, you know, something so beautiful and something that in the midst of our days, very busy lives, often we fail to see, we fail to recognize. And so it's also important because, it's also important because by doing that, we are nurturing, we are feeding our souls, not only with the beauty that we are seeing, but the energy that comes uh, from it. So. You may say, well, the place where I live is not like the most beautiful place or I don't have the same beauty that you have in the place where you live. But you know what? All of us has, all of us have a sky above our heads and a sun that rises and a sun that sets every day. And also we have stars and moons uh, to look at night and there's always the green of a plant and there's always the smile, the eyes of a child around us. So it's not only in nature, but in people. People are beautiful. There's so much beauty everywhere around us. Sometimes it takes the training, a little bit of training of the eyes to be able to find the beauty. And the beauty that we find, the beauty that we recognize ends up, um, like I said, feeding our souls. And the more that we are able to appreciate life, the more that we are able to appreciate our own beauty, the more we are also able to see beauty outside of us. So it ends up being at the very end, you can start with a practice, say, I'm gonna try to identify beauty in my day, but then you're gonna start realizing that the more you identify is because you identify your own beauty, you know, you're in touch with the beauty within yourself and then becomes easier to see the beauty outside of yourself too, you know. When your inner state is one of beauty, when you are in peace with yourself, when you are comfortable in your skin, when you are in line with God, then really everything starts to be so beautiful outside of you and then, you know, so it kind of goes uh, both ways. Well, it's a really beautiful day here in Miami right now. The temperature is nothing but absolutely uh, perfect. I am appreciating it. I am having a good time doing this video. I hope you enjoy it. I see the, the leaves are, are moving, are kind of dancing. There is a nice, nice breeze. And I'm just so appreciative for life, for the beauty that I see, for the beauty that I feel. And I just hope that the videos can help you, can touch your heart and help you to also realize the beauty both within and outside of you and for you to adorn yourself, as Joanna says, with all this abundant beauty that is available to all of us.